Yo, what's good, everybody? We are gonna be breaking down a cloud rap type beat, a smooth, chill cloud rap type beat. Yeah, let's just get started. All right, for the first track, we have a pad or like the main chords. And yeah, let me show you guys real quick. So yeah, it's pretty simple. All I did was just make an 11 chord to do that. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys right here. I just pretty much made it for you guys already. Um, I pretty much stacked six notes on top of each other. Stacking six notes on top of each other is a 11th chord. If I'm not mistaken, this is an 11th chord. This is what it's called. Pretty much all I did, we're in E minor, by the way. Pretty much what I did, just make a regular triad chord. So to make a regular triad chord, you go one two three semitones and then one two three four semitones and then to make a seventh chord you just do one two three extra that's four notes four notes is a seventh chord and then one two three four that's a ninth chord and then one two three is a eleventh that's pretty much what i did i'll show you guys again one semitone is one note up pretty much that's what a semitone is so one two three semitones one two three four semitones one two three semitone one two three four semitone and then one two three semitone and that's an 11th chord that's pretty much what i made up here and there's supposed to be six notes in the 11th chord but i erased the second note because i didn't like it it was too like like it felt too busy if that makes sense yeah and then over here this chord right here it's just pretty much copied and pasted i copied and pasted it and then put this note down uh down to and then this note right here just down four for the mixer part of it all i did was just eq tuck down some of the low end but i still kept the low end right here and then some uh reverb vintage valhalla and then an imager ozone imager just a little bit 20 and yeah all right for the next track i'm just gonna show you guys real quick and then i'll explain All right, so pretty much this is just the uh, FX or SFX. I think that's what it's called, but pretty much I just found this in a random drum kit that I found and then just put this in here. I like using a bunch of SFX or FX or perks as like main melodies. That's pretty much what I do when I make cloud rap uh, beats. But I mean, you guys can find a bunch of leads or textures or different pads in any instrument to create like something like this. And so, yeah, this is actually a fallout sound. Fallout sound is just, you know, with reverb and delay that's all i did but yeah as you can see i eq'd it and yeah like i said uh reverb and delay all right for the next track i added another sfx or fx but this is a vocal one and i'll show you guys real quick so yeah it was pretty simple um i just uh put it on like I put it on the first of bar bar one, the middle of bar two, and then the first of bar three, and then the middle of bar four again. So pretty much this is just copied and pasted right here. So I added um, auto tune artist, uh, just an auto tune, just so I can keep it in key. And I added some EQ and then some reverb. And for shaper box, all I did was panning on it. And then one more thing before I go to the to the drums, because that's pretty much it for the for the instruments. Um, for the verse, um, I just kept the vocal, just only one of these, every bar. I mean, every two bars instead of uh, that one note up here. All right, now we're moving on to the drums and we're just gonna start with the 808. I just used the 808, the Hulu 808 um, from Pierre Born shit. And yeah, let me show you guys. But yeah, pretty much all I did was just follow the rune notes. The only crazy thing I did was down here, made like a sliding effect to the 808. To do that is just click on this triangle right here and it'll pretty much slide your note. It's not only on 808s, um, it could be on, on one shots, uh, a bunch of stuff, etc. But yeah, I just did it on this one last part right here just to add a little bit of a uh, flare a little flare all right and then the 808 we're still on the same 808 but uh i pretty much just changed the 808's pattern on the verse and yeah let me show you guys that real quick
Yeah, so nothing crazy. I just wanted to change the 808 and yeah, just change it up so you know the difference between like the hook and the verse. And the next thing we have is just the clap. Um, but instead of just one clap, it's actually two two claps layered onto each other right here as you can see and if we go over here um a luger or lugger clap from pierre's freaking drum kit i just added one right here an extra one right here and that's it but th this is only on the verse part simple clap just layered i just decided to layer them and then on the verse had that one uh, lugger clap just hit on that one. All right, now we're gonna move on to a hi-hat. The hi-hat's pretty simple. Um, you know, I just made a simple hi-hat, just, you know, uh, deleted some um, stuff, you know, just made my own rhythm to it, and I'll show you guys real quick. All right, now we have the second hi-hat and it's just to add texture to the other hi-hat just to make a little difference to the drums, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys that real quick. All right, the next thing we have is just a perk. I just pretty much put it in the like third spot, third note spot or whatever. And yeah, I just copied and paste, copied and paste to the second bar. All right, the next thing we have is just another perk, but I pretty much put it in the same place to layer the other perk, but it's only on the first bar, our first, yeah, first bar, and doesn't repeat on the third. So yeah, it's just for the, for added texture on the first bar with that perk. So yeah, let me show you. All right, and now we have another effects thing, and I pretty much just put it on the first bar. And this is what Pierre does a lot, he just puts a bunch of, random ass effects on like one bar or like the the end of a the end of a second bar or fourth bar or whatever and yeah um i just liked it i added it it's a cur it's a kirby sound effect that i found by the way all of these effects all of these effects they don't have anything on them they're just eq'd right here as you can see they're just eq'd um so yeah oh yeah and then let me show you guys the the effects real quick All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the arrangement real quick. So pretty much, I just did eight bars right here for the intro, eight bars for the hook, and then and then I add 16 bars to the verse. And I just pretty much copied and pasted it right here. And then right here, I just uh, added a little outro for eight bars. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like the video, like, subscribe, all that crap. And um, I'm gonna play the beat right now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah, I agree with my class.